Now we go on and talk about, in a little more detail, the entrepreneurial process itself. We talked about the key activities and some of the trends that are involved in creating entrepreneurship. But let's talk about this in just a little bit more detail. Opportunities present themselves in the environment when things are changing, because things are changing. When an event occurs, a new store is opened up, a new highway is created, new tax incentives are set up by the government, um, new groups of people are moving into a particular area, um, Spanish-speaking individuals moving into a community creates business opportunities. There are trends in the environment that create business opportunities, and we'll actually talk more detail in the next video about what those trends actually are. <clears throat> But the thing to, re to realize is that the first thing that you will do whenever you're thinking about becoming entrepreneurial in one manner or another is to identify a possible business or other opportunity because things are now different and because you see them as different. Your basic personal experiences, what you know, what you've done in the past, what other people are doing, your social network or what's called social capital, you may identify something that says to you, we need a new store that sells a certain kind of product, like some sort of an electronics product that isn't currently sold. Uh, we need one in this new community because so many people are moving into the area. That's the idea. Of course, there's many, 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 many ways to think about opportunities, but the first thing to do is recognize that because things are changing, things are different, certain demands are not being met, not being fulfilled. And so you have the opportunity to do that or to take advantage of it. As I mentioned or we mentioned earlier, part of that is thinking in terms of a business model. To get to the process of saying, now we know there's a business or there's an opportunity or there might be an opportunity, there might not be, but there might be an opportunity. You have to decide whether or not to proceed and do something. So you have to evaluate the opportunity in certain contexts. And when we talk through, go through the opportunities module, we'll talk about some opportunities that favor us and some that favor competitors, that is the existing businesses that are already there. Going in and starting to sell uh, basic staples and dress and uh, staples in terms of uh, basic needs people have you know hardware paper that sort of thing as well as groceries opening up a store like that right near a walmart would be crazy nuts right because walmart is already there they have certain advantages opening up that kind of store next door to a walmart might be disastrous or a losing proposition at a minimum so you need to decide to proceed by understanding what favors you and how you can take advantage of those things that favor you versus other players and competitors. You also assemble the team, get the organization together, you form your vision, you develop your business model, and recruit people, including investors, including suppliers, the entire network of, of interdependent players that you will be needing to marshal in order to take advantage of the opportunity. Finding a location, if you're going to have a storefront or whatever, leasing it, getting those things together, having the people that are going to deliver the products you need and getting all that organized as well as your team. So getting that story completed together is the next step. The next thing you have to do, of course, is getting all that together, you have to plan for when you open your doors as a new business. There's the planning phase, the getting ready phase, and then there's the actual launch, launching your business. Certain things you want to have well thought through, certain things you want to learn from. The launch is only one important milestone. It's not the end, and it's not even the beginning, because you've done a lot of thinking and planning and sorting through before the actual launch. But the launch is when the information about what actually works and what doesn't work, no longer a plan, but actual events, that information starts being processed. So you have an entire new stream of things to deal with. It's not just what you believe or think, it's what's actually happening. You have to integrate into the process of 
forming, growing, and building your new venture, your new business. From there, all that flow of information of what works and what doesn't, what products sell, what products don't sell, what features sell, what features don't sell, what makes happy customers happy, what makes them upset, what makes employees happy, what makes them upset, all of that sort of thing. Suppliers, what makes them happy, I'm not upset, but bankers, all that. Once that's all happening, you have to grow and build your success. That We don't talk too much about that in this class. We go towards the end, we talk about some of the problems or challenges of a success. For success brings its own challenges of what they call crossing the chasm. Um, the author Jeff Moore talks about that. Growing from a startup where people are kind of on your side as the small guy to being one of the key players and all of a sudden they treat you as just another store and you have to compete with, with the, the big guys and how you do that successfully um, is another element of the whole storyline. And then the last part, which I never want you to forget, we talk about this a lot, and you'll talk about it or you should think about it as you go through any sort of building process, how you harvest the success. The harvest is how you take advantage of the fact that you've spent a certain amount of time, a lot of intellectual energy, personal resources, and personal time and interest in building something. You have to harvest it. This is particularly important because you have outside investors who have given you money and they've given you money for the sole purpose of making, getting more money back. So they give you a million, they want more back. And that general rule of thumb is they want five to ten times their money back in three to five years. Which means that if, you give, if they give you a million, they're expecting you to be able to give them five million or ten million back in three to five years. This is a huge, huge challenge to do this. And of course, that's only what they're hoping for. You always have to do that. But that's what success is measured by, those kinds of numbers. And so you have to have a plan for how that happens. And typically, the harvest would happen as you sell to a larger company. Like, if, for example, you start Instagram, and then you get it to a certain size, and then you sell it to Facebook. And you can still run it, same people, everything's the same, except that now instead of you owning it, and your venture capitalists own it. You may still own part of it, but Facebook is the other and is your partner and investor. And so now you grow it as part of the Facebook enterprise. And that happens a lot with new brands. If you're a designer and you develop a new line of sweaters, you may, after a few years, develop your brand and then merge into Ralph Lauren or Liz Claiborne or something like that. And still the same kind of thing. You can still run it. You can still grow it. It's still the same. But you've managed to take people that have given you the money to get you started, and they get their money back, having gone through that phase with you, the high-risk phase. Um, and now your investor is this larger company. So that happens a lot, too. But never forget the fact that you have to ultimately harvest the rewards, harvest to get out of the business. You're, you still could be in it or not, but at the same time, you have managed to make money for yourself and for your investors. And that's what Harvest is all about. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about where the opportunities come from and how you think about finding that next big thing that you can jump into and start to build your business around.